Lesson 12.2b, Identifying a Right Triangle. The converse of the Pythagorean theorem gives us a way to tell if a triangle is a right triangle when we know the side lengths. So, if we have three side lengths and need to know if it's a right triangle, we use the converse of the Pythagorean theorem. Need to find a missing side length, use the Pythagorean theorem. So we discussed this in the last video. We have the Pythagorean theorem and the converse of the Pythagorean theorem. The Pythagorean theorem is for missing side lengths. The converse is when you want to prove it's a right triangle and you've got the three side lengths. And if you look at the hypothesis and conclusion for each, you can see that they've swapped places. Here, the hypothesis is if the triangle is the right triangle, and here the hypothesis is if a squared plus b squared equals c squared, which is this one's conclusion. And the conclusion for this one is the hypothesis for the Pythagorean theorem. The converse is a flipped around version of the Pythagorean theorem. Here, we need to tell whether the triangle with given side lengths is a right triangle. We have 5, 10, and 12. So we're going to use the converse of the Pythagorean theorem because we're trying to find out if it's a right triangle and they're giving us the three lengths. We do 5 squared plus 10 squared. Is it equal to 12 squared? Well, 5 times 5 is 25 and 10 times 10 is 100. 12 times 12 is 144. Hmm, this is 125. This is 144. They are not equal. This is false. This does not make a right triangle by the converse of the Pythagorean theorem. Okay, let's try another one. We're going to tell whether the triangle with a given side length is a right triangle, and the side lengths we have are 11, 60, and 61. We write 11 squared plus 60 squared. Is it equal to 61 squared? So remember, when you see the equal sign with a question mark on it, it means we need to find that out. We're trying to prove that. Well, 11 squared is 11 times 11. That's 121. And 60 squared is 60 times 60. That's 3,600. And 61 squared is 61 times 61. That's 3,721. Well, when we add 3,600 plus 121, we get 3,721. So yes, they're equal. This is true. This does make a right triangle by the converse of the Pythagorean theorem. When we say by the converse of the Pythagorean theorem, that means that's how we proved that this was true. Given three side lengths, we can compare them to know which length is side C. Side C represents the hypotenuse, which is the longest side. Therefore, the side length with the greatest number is C. We know that the hypotenuse is the longest side of a right triangle. If we see the side lengths of 3, 4, 5, we know the 5 is the greatest number. That's the hypotenuse C. If we see 5, 12, 13, we know 13 is the hypotenuse C. And we can assign A and B to either leg, so these don't matter. We could say that's A and that's B. But it's very important to know which one is C because that's what it's going to be set equal to. Here we have the three side lengths of 6, 8, and 10. We can do 6 squared plus 8 squared. Is it equal to 10 squared? Well, 6 times 6 is 36. 8 times 8 is 64. 10 times 10 is 100. When we add 36 plus 64, we get 100. So yes, this is true. Now, looking at these three side lengths, since 2 is a common factor for 6, 8, and 10, the equation 6 squared plus 8 squared equals 10 squared can be written as 2 times 3 raised to the second power plus 2 times 4 raised to the second power is equal to 2 times 5 raised to the second power. The converse of the Pythagorean theorem also shows that 3, 4, and 5 form a right triangle. We can cut straws or sticks of different lengths to see if they will form a right triangle. So cut the stick to a certain measure, like a whole number, 
And we can try to see if we can form a right triangle. We can put this one like this, because we're trying to make a right triangle. We can put this one like this to make our right angle. And then we can take this one to see if it fits. Oh no, it's too long. The only way to get it to fit is to open this angle up more and then lay it in there. So no, 9, 11, and 17 are not side lengths that form a right triangle. You can try this with other lengths of straws or sticks. Just make sure you write down what the lengths are. We're finished with part B. We're going to move on to C using the converse of the Pythagorean theorem. Did this make sense to you? Did you understand it? If it did, let me know by hitting that like button. It's the only way I can tell. And have a great day and join me for the last part of the lesson. Bye.